What is going on fellow nerds and guess what? It is the new year and you know what that means? CES. Yes, CES is here folks and we are going to talk about it. What is going on nerds? CES 2019 and let's talk LG. What do we expect to see from LG at CES? All right, first off, LG is expected to show off the Alpha A9 um, Generation 2. This is their brains or their processor behind their TVs right now. Um, they were in their last year models, so this year's models are supposed to receive upgrades. Um, a few of those things that we could talk about is um, they're supposed to have a four-step noise reduction algorithm in there, um, enhanced color correction algorithm so you can get your colors a little bit more brighter and better, and also 120 um, frames per second uh, with uh, 120 second H HFR um, support as well. So that's 120 frames per second is ridiculous. Um, yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. So and these are supposed to be rolling out in their um, 2019 OLED TVs. So. They still have the um, Web OS. You still have Web OS, yep. Yeah. yeah, this is. This is nice because I, I like their. They're the only ones that like make a big push for OS and TVs. And this is the first time I've ever heard anybody talk about the processor for a TV. Like I don't hear openly. Yes, yeah, yeah, openly. Open, I don't. Yeah. I don't hear Samsung or Sony talking about their processors and their TVs, which I think it's good. Like it makes me want to look into their TVs, TVs a, little a little bit, bit more, more yeah. because it sounds. It's, all this sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Because I have an LG OLED TV and it's pretty nice. I don't know if it has the Alpha A9 in there because this is probably a 2017 model. But yeah, but yeah. Um, also on the TV front, what we alluded to in the beginning. Oh yeah. The rollable, <laughs> oh, the rollable OLED television. So. Last year when this was shown up, I was, like you said, that was probably the highlight of the show. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Um, the OLED, the rollable thing. So it looked like it came out of soundbar and it just rolls up. I mean, pretty freaking slick. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I'm expecting to, I think last year that was shown behind door. So I'm expecting this year for it to be actually on the floor, to be out there for people to actually see and hold and touch. Well, not hold, but touch. So I'm still wondering if that's going to come to market though in 2019. Mm. So that's the key. I don't know if it's going to come to market yet, but that's pretty dope. That I mean, you can just completely hide your TV. Forget making it a piece of art. Just completely hide just it out completely in the way. Completely hide it. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of and the update of that as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I hope that. I wonder, did they say anything about pricing on that last year? I, I don't know. I don't recall. Don't, yeah, I don't think they said anything. I think it was just pricing. a prototype. Yeah, it was just a prototype. Yeah. yeah, that thing was pretty cool. Um, I would really like to see. I think, first of all, I think LG is. I don't know if they're a leader in sales, but innovation as far as TVs are concerned, I feel like LG has been killing it they have, over the yeah. past couple yep. of years because. They have the uh, Actually, I wallpaper think, TVs. I think, yeah, the wallpaper which was shown at 2017. That was the that one too was amazing. Just a wall sticking on the sticking on the wall. It's just like magnets, <laughs> magnets. Yep. And then there's, it, there's a ribbon that goes down that can be painted over, or like you can hide it yep, very hide easily. It. Yep. Um, yeah, they they's been killing it. Like yeah. I wouldn't be like I think my next TV is going to be an LG TV just yeah. because. Like their the innovation, innovation and very the yep. OS. I like the web OS in, mm -hmm. in the TV. They seem pretty snappy. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rolling TVs to see more about that. Hopefully, it, that's something that actually makes it to market. Right, and I'm wondering about the price for that because the, the wallpaper TV, I think when it first was announced for retail, I think it was about $7,000. I thought it was more than that. I think it started out, I think they had a 55 inch or 65 inch and a, and a bigger one as well. So uh, I, I may I may be lowballing it, but yeah. But so I'm expecting the rollable OLED to be just as pricey as uh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be pricey. A new tech would be yeah. So just, yeah, because you got to think about it like it's ultimate. Like like you don't have to have it's it's easy to carry. Like just the convenience of mm -hmm. it is is yeah. enough to charge more money yeah exactly yep. and they also have to c compress and shrink that technology down that's as well. true so that's true yeah. definitely expensive but who would have thought five years ago that we were 
be talking about flat, rollable, flexible TVs and displays. I mean, yeah, it's just crazy. it's just amazing to see where technology is going. So amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, on to their gaming monitors, or not gaming monitors, but they were supposed to be showing off two new monitors as well. Um, mm -hmm. An ultra wide monitor. Get this, forty nine inches wide wow. monitor. So their their largest monitor they have today is thirty four inches. So this one is forty nine forty nine inches with a. That's crazy, yeah. man. <laughs> it's like having so it's thirty two by nine aspect ratio. So that's like having two sixteen by nine. Um, yeah. monitors Monitor. together um so yeah this thing is crazy uh the resolution is 5120 by 1440 so uh it's gonna give you about 108 pixels per inch um so not quite 4k but better than 2k so yeah it's in a, i'm expecting this thing to be three thousand dollars probably that's crazy for a monitor yeah 49 inch yeah, I would love to have it, but I can't spend three thousand dollars on a Dude, monitor. Dude, I spent five hundred dollars on my four K monitor and was like, "Woo, <laughs> my pockets!" <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it, yeah, it's probably gonna look good though, man. Yeah, it's probably like if once the price comes down on those, like mm -hmm. having a single, like, cause I'm a single monitor person. Like, I don't for some reason I just grew like I don't like using dual monitors anymore. Mm -hmm. So having a monitor that big and it you, be wide, exactly. you'd be all set because you would have set. the advantages of using two monitors, right. but in a single device. Single yeah. device. Yeah, if I could get my hands on a 49-inch monitor, yes, I would you know, get rid of my dual screens, but uh, I can't see, knowing that this probably would be three, four grand, so yeah, I can't see that happening in the future. So, but, yeah. yeah, but I, I, and it, trust me, I know they look nice because um, all the LD, L LG monitors look nice. Uh, at CES, when I looked at them, it's crisp and clear. I mean, yeah. So I expect it to be beautiful. LG displays are just kicking it right now. Yeah, they're so, they're doing pretty good. I hope I hope that the market share shows that too because yeah. they. I haven't looked at people. the monitor market share, but yeah, I hope it does reflect that as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and also another monitor that's probably showing up is a actual gaming monitor. It's called the Ultra Gear Gaming Monitor. Mm -hmm. So this is a curved. 4K display um, with 144 um, hertz refresh rate. Okay. Um, so that is actually uh, above the 120 hertz that we have on our Xbox One X and the PlayStation VR. So we're talking about refresh rates that are just smooth as fast and snappy. So yeah, um, I don't know what size it's going to be. I didn't get that information or how much that's going to be, but yeah, I can expect that to be. It's gonna dope be pretty, as well. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be pretty dope and probably pretty expensive. But yeah. exactly, yep, yep. And um, one more thing from LG, and you know, we talked about this. Uh, there's rumors that they may show off a foldable phone. I, I mean, there's some some fake rumors out there. Mm -hmm. They may show it off in their um, keynote. I'm not sure if it will be on display or if it will even actually make it to market in 2019. Mm. So that'll be interesting to see a foldable phone from LG. Um, we'll see if that actually comes to fruition. I don't know. I hope these foldable phones, like, I hope somebody does something really dope with, with this this technology. Because that's like, if, if I didn't have to have a tablet, like, I don't know. There's just so many possibilities with a foldable phone. If it's done right, you mm -hmm. know, it would be dope. Yeah. And I, I think it's the next evolution of smartphones at this point. Yeah. I mean, you, you really can't pack more into these devices today. I mean, they pretty much, like I said, there's mean, minuscule difference between this and the, and, the, and another phone. So somebody jump into the foldable market. That's, gonna, that's a game changer um, for me as well. So pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what's next for phones because they're it's so fun it's so funny. If you watch any if you watch any reviews nowadays on any phone, it could be an iPhone or a uh, Samsung phone or an LG phone, it's literally them trying to find stuff wrong with it as yep. opposed to things being wrong with the phone just jumping out at them. Exactly. Like any from any of the major manufacturers. Like I said, yep. LG, Samsung, Apple. Yeah. Like things have to jump out at you. Um as a, like they have to find things wrong as opposed to things just jumping out. It's funny. Phones yeah. are so good now. Phones they are, are really. They good. really are. Even the budget phones or oh, the yeah, market man. phones. I mean, 
Like the the One Plus, dude. Uh, I mean, we're getting plus. off subject here. One Plus, but the iPhone XR, the XR. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a top notch phone in a budget. You know. Yeah, I went to go look at that body. phone the other day. Oh. It looks good. Like yeah. it looks good. I don't know. Yeah, phones are getting good. Yep. All right, folks, that is our CES preview show. We've covered what we think will happen at CES. Thank you once again for taking the time out to watch this video. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed to our videos, liked our videos. I want to thank you for that. Um, look for more from us in 2019. Um, 2019, we plan on stepping our game up, and you will see um, some of that coming down the pipeline. You can follow me on Twitter at SNJamoka. You can follow me on Twitter at CharliePinkSN. All right, and make sure you check out our website at um, SoundsNerdy.com. There are a lot of things on the website as well. We offer a Sounds Nerdy membership where you can compete for get, uh, competing games and win prizes. It's a free membership, uh, friendly competition. You can sign up there at the website just to make sure you check that out. Also, make sure you check out our Facebook. Our membership is tightly integrated with our Facebook group. Um, we post questions there, so that allows you to earn points so you can then compete for the prizes as well. So make sure you check that out um, as well. All right, and until the next video, guys, stay nerdy. Take care.